Hi, Journals for Life fans. I wanted to show you my new stamps that I just got in. Journal Basics 1, 2, and 3. So here, let me get the ones I didn't stamp with so they're nice and clean. So that's Journal Basics 1. It's a cute little basic stamp with a sticky note, a Polaroid, a circle. There's two circles so you can lay your stamp. Um, a couple splatters. Here's a splatter. And then here's like a three dot and sequins, some little hearts and stars, a little loop-de-loop -loop string, and a stitch. And then these two tacks. I thought this would be really cute for diff different kinds of layering. This is kind of what I did with it. See the um, splotch? This is the sequin, the cute little hexagon sequin. The tack, here's your loop-de-loop -loop string, and oh, I forgot the uh, clip, of course. Most important of all, different ways to use them. So I thought that was really cute. I'm gonna stamp um, really quick with them to show you how that one looks. And then I also, so this is Journal Basics 1. I also have Journal Basics 2, and I don't have a sample stamp of this one, so we're gonna stamp that one too. So it's a big binder clip, two different kinds of staples, a file folder label, a um, open wireframe binder clip, a regular paper clip. So this one had like a planner wide paper clip in it. This one has a long skinny paper clip and then a journal spot. And then what's great about this is this is about a little over two inches by four inches. So fits perfectly on a travel notebook, so you can just um, journal a quick little note. So that's Journal Basics 2. And then Journal Basics 3 is kind of more feminine, um, could be vintage if you want. It has two different types of lace border. It has the straight stitch. Um, it has like a little scalloped clip, binder clip, or paper um, clipboard and two different kinds of small little doilies and hearts, star sequin splatter, and then a safety pen and a word, a small word. And I do, I did stamp that one a little, kind of messy stamp in here to try it out. So I thought that was kind of cute. Um, and we will stamp that as well. So let's grab the stamp. Let's see how these work. So Journal Basics 1. This little bitty Polaroid. I love it. It's so cute. Um, I use my Ranger Archival ink. I think I'm out of that in the shop. I might have one or two left. Um, do have some reordered, but it's been taking a little while to get from Ranger. But this is my favorite black ink, hands down. So... We've got the little Polaroid, so then you can use all these little things if you want to embellish it. Um, you might have like a little stamp of an animal that you can stamp in there, or you can leave it however, you can leave it blank if you want. So, oops. I like this little heart. I think it's nice and quick just to kind of, oh, oops, now I'm throwing things. You know, and you can do hearts across the page, just kind of like sequins if you want. And then, so let's work through some of these other little ones too. I love using stamps as embellishments because sometimes notebooks can get a little bulky. And um, I just kind of want to flatten it as much as I can. I want it to be real simple. I also travel, so sometimes um, taking a bunch of embellishments is kind of daunting. So... If you just grab one stamp set, um, you can do all kinds of little things and all kinds of configurations. So those are cute hearts. Let's look at these little sequins. These are my favorite, I think. Let's see what color. Maybe yellow. I think I'm in a yellow mood. Yellow sequins. Scatter. Look how cute. I just love that. I think that's so cute. You can repeat stamp on your journal page. Um, you can make embellishment clusters. So for the February Midnight Blush Kit, I'll be making embellishment clusters with stamps and the ephemera pack. 
So stay tuned for that. That'll be a lot of fun. I just feel like all this works together. So you can take any of our journal prompt stamps that come with the kits um, with the words and use this journal basics one to add a little extra something. The clip stamp is perfect for, you know, if you have a piece of square paper or a tag, um, you know, you could just stamp it on, stamp it, and then maybe add a square paper and write your note. It's just really cute. Or you can just repeat stamp them if you want. Just a lot of great ideas, a lot of good things to be had. You could probably draw if you wanted to stamp it. You could draw a square um, or a clipboard, however you want. I do have a clipboard stamp in the shop if you wanted to check that out. And here is the stitch. So isn't that cute? You can grab a tag and just like, you can use that to line up your, your um, sentiment. So like stamp under it, then line your sentiment on top of it. You can see how I did that. I used the word sweet treats, summer stories, um, and a little sticky note. You could write a little note or that could be your you know, title. And then this circle here, this one and this one with the little three dots, I just kind of did like a little kind of bokeh, you know, effect there. So that is Journal Basics 1. Lots of little doodads and fun to be had with that stamp. So now let's look at Journal Basics 2, and that's this one. And the main feature of that one is the lines to journal with. So I do that technique all the time. I stamp my page or I'll use a pen. I do that a lot. I just grab a ruler and write lines. And so putting this stamp together and designing it has been in my brain. It's been rattling around in my brain um, probably for almost two years now since I've opened. I've wanted to make some kind of little line stamp like this. So I was excited to get it in. My block is a little small, so I might not catch this top one. Maybe I'll stamp a little off the page because I'm sure I'm not going to catch that one. Let's see what that looks like. Voila! And isn't that fun? So you can take this. Here, let's stamp it one more time. I'm going to stamp it on the bottom so I can decorate both of them. All right, so let's say you stamp it, and you could also repeat stamp it down the page. There's a lot of things you can do with that. Um, I'm going to take the Journal Basics 1 stamp, so this one, and look how you can mix and match. So um, let's see. Do some mint sequins and a lighter color, that way I can still journal. You could grab a, let's see, a sentiment, which I don't have one nearby, but I could do a journal prompt at the top, like right here. I could put a journal prompt there. And then also, let's see if this little uh, clipboard thing will work. Let's get a, what color is that? A little darker skylight that works. So maybe just kind of float that up there, you know, it's kind of cute. All right, so let me put Journal Basics 1 away because we're really looking at Journal Basics 2. So you can take any of those little doodads, the hearts or stars or the bokeh, and stamp it on top of that little journaling piece. And let's see what this um, paper clip looks like. You can stamp it standalone, or maybe you stamp it holding a paper. So that's really cute. And got a file tab. Let's do the file tab in black at first. If you have a brother scan and cut, you can just cut that right out, or you can just, you know, hand uh, fussy cut it out. Or 
you could just stamp straight on to your layout with it. So here's some staples. Um, let me grab something and show you how I use these staple stamps. Okay, so here's the way I use the staples. I just, you know, put them on this journaling card and like here, just kind of looks like I stapled it on there. So let's say you're working in your notebook and you have a little piece of paper. I don't know. Let's see, like maybe this. And you could stamp it where you stapled it on there. Or you could stamp it standalone, however you want. But that is a cute little staple stamp. And then I've got this wire frame and a plain binder club. So this wire frame, I mean not wire frame, wire binder club. It's been very popular the last couple of years. So that is it. I don't know if I have enough room. There we go. You stamping it on the back. Let's see what it looks like in black. It's wonderful. I love that. So there's your binder clip. And last but not least, here is like a clipboard type clip or a little a metal, like a bulldog kind of binder clip. And you have to stamp that a couple times and prime your stamp really good in order to get a solid impression. So let me try it again. Yeah, third time is usually the charm. I always test it out on something before committing to stamping it right in my book. So you, just to make sure that you get a nice solid image. Let's see what skylight looks like. Okay. Okay, so there are some different ways to use Journal Basics 2. And then now let's look at Journal Basics 3. Put that off to the side. So this one's a little more feminine. With the doilies, it's kind of vintage with a little bitty piece of paper. So you can make um, embellishment clusters or little uh, rule of thirds, you know, little pops of interest on your page. So... This was a quick stamp that I did, not super nice and neat, just kind of tested it when I got it in. So let's play with this one a little bit too. Let's see what we can do. Let's find my one that's already open. Okay. What to do? Let's see. These three, I think, with black. Okay, perfect. I already made my little paper messy. I am always messy. Messy stamper me. All right, so let's start out with this cute little doily. I'm just going to kind of see if I can stamp a pattern around the page. Love that. I think that's so pretty. Then I've got a second generation stamp it there so I can make a little cluster. Then here's the bigger doily. I think I'm going to use polished for that. Be do -si do Let's see which one I like the best. Nope, oh, that one works. Okay, and then I'm going to second generation stamp it there so it's lighter so I can make an embellishment cluster. And next. Yes. Let's maybe stamp this little word. We'll stamp it dark and black. Then we'll stamp it second generation so it's kind of lighter. I wonder if I can even get a third. And how about in maybe a green? Okay. So we have that. So something you can do is grab something like um, this little star, kind of, you know, let's kind of add it on the page for interest. Here's our safety pen. 
You can also use this as a title folder too if you wanted to do it sideways and then stamp something across the top or stamp it in a pattern kind of like what I'm doing. It's kind of a fun thing there. So like this could be a little embellishment cluster. And then let's do the hearts. What color do we have? Maybe polished is darker. So I'll grab that and put it there. See, look how pretty that is. I mean, you can just kind of layer up on your stamps all kinds of different ways. Work through dark and light colors. Um, this color palette is one of my favorites. Okay, and last but not least, um, we have this little binder clip with the scallop on it. So it's a little bit different than the other one. The other couple ones have a straight edge. This one's kind of longer and thinner with a straight edge. And then the Journal Basics 2 is more like a kind of like a bulldog clip, very plain, but kind of taller. And then this one is cute and petite and kind of scalloped. So really cute. Let's see. I don't know why I'd put that on a doily, but just to give you an idea what that one looks like. And then here are the lace bits. Okay. So lace, what color? Maybe black since I've got all these colors going on. Maybe I need it to show up really well. So maybe look how pretty that is. Just adore that. You could put it on a border. Let's see what that looks like. Yep, looks good as a border. So that's one of the laces. And then I have the scallop lace. And I made it to fit on a travel notebook page, the four and a quarter page. So you can just kind of, it fits inside that and it doesn't overlap. So you could put it frame up a photo if you're going to put a little photograph like you know kind of layer it underneath like that and then this too see how it fits right underneath like a three by four card it's another thing i took into consideration oops as well let me move over here so I don't rattle my camera and then here is this one let's see if i have some more room in the back um here we go that's what that looks like. And then the straight stitch. I love that straight stitch. So I stamped it in black, so let me stamp it in a different color now. Let's try this Daydream by Katherine Puller. And I have all of these inks in the shop. Um, if you are a subscriber, you can add anything to your subscription kit during the subscription right before it ships, the first or the fourth of the month. So you can grab some of these inks to ship for free. So keep that in mind. And that is Journal Basics 3. So that's the little lace and doily journal that. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, go check it out. Journal Basics Volume 1, 2, and 3. Bye, fans.